click this button here so I can record this, send it out to you guys. So in the last week, what's been your uh, biggest wins or your biggest lesson learned? I had an enjoyable, comfortable experience this uh, past weekend with the client that I got from an open house about two months ago. Something that you mentioned before, Jonathan, that I don't believe I've done in the last 25 years, and I did it, and it just, like, smoothed. Uh, I had a copy of the printout of the four houses we were looking at for myself, and then the, the public copy. And he had his in-laws up from Tucson, so I handed that to his mother-in-law, and then I handed her my little tablet thing so she had something to write on and a pen, and she was just writing all kind of notes about each of the houses and handing the thing back to me after we'd get through at each house. It was that, that, was, that was cool. Then I wrote a note to their daughter, Jennifer, who lives in Virginia, who I've never met or talked with yet and told her I'm putting that in the mail today to tell her what cool, neat parents you have. I enjoyed them. Then I sent a bomb bomb to the to Scott, who was with us yesterday, and thanked him uh, for having his in-laws come along, told him how I liked them. And I also told him I would be searching the MLS twice a day uh, for houses because we lost out on two yesterday. That's what the market's like here. Nice. Awesome. I love awesome. Who else has got a, a win or a victory, a lesson learned they want to share from last week? I got one. Sweet. Fire away, Tim. So I've been, I've been practicing my Jonathanisms. <laughs> and okay. so I'm just trying to be you because I realize that I'm not like optimal. So I took someone through a house yesterday, the first one, the first one. And she was really liking it. So I said, would you like to live here? She goes, yes. I said, great. We just need to write an offer then. Then you can live here. And she's like, that'd be fine. And so that's basically you because you're like, do you want to live here? <laughs> and, and so that is, is amazing to me that I showed one house and basically wrote an offer on it. It's going in, went in this morning, right? That amazes me. So the more I can care, so you talk about dialing up the love and yeah. dialing down the fear. My version of that is dialing up the care, the caring, right? Like you just said, you just said that. So the more they know I care, the better my success is, is what I've discovered this week. Nice. High five, Tim. Awesome job. Awesome. Who else has got a victory they want to share, a lesson they learned, something they did where they, they – went out of their comfort zone a little bit more than normal. Uh, wrote an offer last week. Nice. Uh, 725. Yeah. Clients were originally looking for a mobile home and they didn't like the restrictions by the park. So I said, let's look for condos. And they said, no, we don't want a condo. We don't want to deal with property tax and everything else. And I told them that the interest rates are lower. So at least take a look so you know what your options are. So we were looking at a $425,000 mobile home that they really liked, and now we got them in a 725000 condo. That's really nice. Awesome. Nice job, Paul. Way to go.